Good morning, chickens. Let's talk trimming your pots. You want to trim your pieces when they are leather hard, so they're no longer malleable, so they hold their shape, but they're only halfway dry. Sometimes your pieces stick to the wearboard. You're going to need to use a wire tool and carefully slice it off the wearboard. It's important to feel the thickness inside your piece. Stick your fingers on both sides, on the outside on the bottom and on the inside on the bottom and feel for any thin spots or thick spots. Typically in the middle center of your pots, there's a thin spot. In this case, I'm scoring a little area right down in the bottom there. And I'm gonna add a little ball of clay. I'm gonna score and stick a little extra piece. This is super common when you're starting out throwing pots. There's always a little thin spot down in there. So put a little ball of clay in, I'm kind of pinch potting it around on the inside, and then I'm gonna smooth it with a sponge and no one will know except for you and me that it was thin down there. You're gonna need to put it upside down on the wheel and recenter your piece. One method is to hold your hand very steady on the side of the pot, and as it turns around and taps your finger, you're gonna stop the wheel and gently push the piece back to the middle. The other method I'm gonna show you is where you draw a little circle on the top of the pot and look for thick and thin areas. Push your circle towards the small side, then redraw another circle until it's perfectly balanced. This can take some practice, so don't worry about it. Close enough is good enough when you're starting out recentering your pieces. You're gonna to need to secure them with a couple little snakes or worms of clay around the side to act like a little vise, holding it steady. Start by using the large loop tool or the large trimming tool to re-level the bottom of your piece. Notice I'm using my left hand to sort of gently stabilize the piece, sort of let it slide over my fingers as I carve on the piece. Your trimmings should come off like ribbons. That's because your piece is leather hard. After I level it, I like to start carving down the side. There's usually lots of thick clay in this area, and it's a place where you can continue the shape of your pot and give it some personality. Now we're carving out the center of the foot. I drew a circle with my fingernail, and now I'm gonna switch to the small trimming tool or small loop tool to carve out the center. I like to use the square side of the loop tool when I'm trimming out the middle. This is where that thin area was. And so typically, this is where people carve through the bottoms of their pots. Now I'm switching back to the large loop tool and I'm gonna carve the foot to make it more individual, separate from the shape of the cup. And when I'm finished, I like to use my fingertips to re-smooth the clay and give it that thrown feeling, like it doesn't have tool marks all over it. So for this piece, if it's gonna become a mug, I would smooth the inside again with the sponge and put the handle on immediately. So now's the time to make your handle and stick it on. Trimming a bowl isn't that much different from trimming a cup. You just wanna make sure that your piece is still leather hard. If it's stuck to the wearboard, chop it off with the wire tool and make sure you have the right tools and you're ready to go. I can't overstress the importance of feeling the thickness of the bottom of your piece before you trim. Have an idea of where the thin spots are, where the thick spots are, because it's a real bummer when you trim through the bottom of your piece. All right, so we're recentering using the uh, circle method. Draw a circle, look for a thick side and a thin side, push to the small side, and redraw your circle until you find the middle. The finger tap method is where you hold your finger on the side of the pot and when the bowl taps your finger, you're gonna stop and push it away. Advanced potters won't stop the wheel. They will just tap the bowl into the center every time it comes around and taps their finger. Uh, we're not quite ready for that yet when we're in beginning ceramics though. All right, we're gonna re-level the bottom and carve down the side of the bowl first. I really like to give the bottoms of my bowls a nice round curve. You wanna continue the shape 
on the bottom that's happening on the inside of the bowl. To make a foot, I just push the tool straight down and it will define a foot. Now I'm drawing a circle in the center and I'm gonna carve out the middle. It's important to carve out the centers of your feet because this compresses the bottoms and prevents S cracking, which is typical in thrown pots. For trimming this plate, I actually use the circles that are on the wheel head as a centering device. It's really handy when, you're, when your plate is a perfect circle. Sometimes it's hard to re-level the bottom of pots. So for this piece, what I used was the small loop tool, the circular side, and I very carefully, using two hands, drag it horizontally across the bottom in a way of like scoring the bottom of the piece. Thank you. 